Good evening. Um, we are happy to be here. Do we have children? As usual, we will ask that all the children be at the front. Um, I have a gentleman here who has come to, who is helping me out today, and he has a most beautiful name. His name is Melchizedek. Isn't it nice? I hope you know what your name means. It's a very wonderful name. So he's going to give us our opening prayer after he reads the, the scripture reading. Uh, scripture readings um, today comes from Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. So when you pray, you should pray like this. Our Father, who, our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. We pray that your kingdom will come. We pray that what you want will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Let's pray. Our kind and everlasting Father, we come before you this evening. I pray as we start the children's sermon. May you help us understand. May you be with us in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Our topic today is praying like Jesus. And I'd like to remind all the children that our theme for the 10 days of prayer is faith in every footstep. Faith in every footstep. But today, we want to learn how we can pray like Jesus. Children, you know the song? Do you know the song? Let's, let's, let's sing. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. And I will learn to walk in your ways. And step by step you lead me. And I will follow you all of my and step by step let's sing and step by step you lead me and I will follow you can we start over oh God let's go sing oh God you are my God and I will ever praise you oh God you are my God and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. And I will learn to walk in your ways. And step by step you lead me. And I will follow you all of my days. Step by step, step by step I lead me and I will follow you all of my days. Mr. Douglas, what do we say to the children in the congregation? Wow! wow. Amen. Amen! Thank you very much. You can have a seat. Thank you. You've sung very, very well. And I feel very happy that you have learned that song. Now, children, welcome to our fifth day, day five, okay, of our journey. We still have our footsteps. We are building our footsteps in faith, every step, one step at a time. So far, we have looked at God's gift of time. We have spoken about slowing down. And then we've talked about being still. And yesterday, we talked about choosing wisely. Okay? And I'm really, I'm really anxious to see what the children are doing at home. Teacher Douglas, maybe you'll, you'll find out and show us some pictures. I'd like to see the footsteps that are coming up at home. And also, I'm very proud of the children for the prayer requests that are coming up in front. As I continue, Teacher Douglas... We can give the prayer requests so that if the children are not here, the parents can put in their prayer request and we will pray for them. Ours are sticky notes. 
the colorful sticky notes. You can write your prayer request. Then during when uh, Melchizedek and I are praying, you can forward your requests for your children. And the children who are here, you can bring in your prayer request and we will pray for you. And I'm assuring you that in the 10 days of prayer, God is going to do something wonderful in your life as children. Amen? Amen. And so today, we want to learn how to pray like Jesus. And I like that pastor did this before me, our pastor George, um, the Lord's Prayer. And Jesus was sitting with his disciples, and they asked him, Lord, teach us to pray. And who better to teach us as children how to pray than Jesus? Because why? The prayers of Jesus worked, didn't they? Are they still working to date? We know that when we pray in the name of Jesus, then that which we are asking of him, he will give to us. And so who best to teach us than Jesus? And today, we're going to do it in a very interesting way. And the sign language person, please don't beat me if, if we don't do it this right. Um, our lesson today is just getting to know how to say the Lord's Prayer with signs. Okay, children, that is our lesson for today. So I want you to pay attention. Um, so we will pray, and I want the children in church, all of us are children, right, to be able to do this, because we are only going to do the Lord's Prayer, but we are going to sign it as we say it, okay? So we will sign our Father. Let's go. Our Father, who art in heaven. Please give me a stand so that I can use my hands. I'd like to use a stand. Okay, thank you. So, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, name, and then your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. This is a sign for sin, so we'll do it a lot. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for forever. Forever and ever, Amen. Okay, so can we try that again? And I hope the children at home are doing this. We are learning how to pray like Jesus. So let's go. Our Father, let's see. Let's say it together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Very well done. Thank you, class. I hope um, the children can learn that. Now, um, the whole point of the Lord's Prayer, and as Pastor rightfully told us the other day, it is not supposed to replace prayer. It is a model prayer. And what is God trying to tell us with the Lord's Prayer? Keep it simple. Are we together? Sometimes we feel like in prayer, we have to complicate it and say big words and repeat so many things. But what Jesus taught his disciples to do is to pray very simply and very, very specifically. Are we together? Did Jesus repeat many things, children? 
He didn't do many repetitions, didn't he? He just prayed precisely. And one of the things that is noted in our lesson today is Jesus asked us for our daily bread. God wants us to trust him in every way. And most of the time we worry about tomorrow, the day after, and the day after. But that is not how Jesus taught us to pray. He said, give us today, this day, our daily bread bread. That means the blessings for today are enough when we ask God for them, okay? And in our prayers, when Jesus says that um, lead us not into temptation, what Jesus wants us to do is a reminder that even as we pray, like Jesus taught us, we also have to make the right choices. Are we together? And he is willing to help us to make the right choices. Amen? Amen. And so whenever you pray as children, I want you to remember the Lord's Prayer, not as the only prayer that you pray, but as a model prayer of Jesus teaching us how to pray specifically and simply and how to trust him and how to make the right choices also. Amen? Amen. And so uh, we've already done the actions for the Lord's Prayer. Please don't forget them. And I want us to show the activity for the day. Here we go. And you can begin to bring your prayer requests forward so that we can pray over them. Please bring first before you put it up. Thank you. Um, children, this is our activity for the day. It says, pray like Jesus. What does it say? Pray like Jesus. And today we've learned how to pray like Jesus and also to keep our prayers simple and to always make good choices. So I hope all the parents have printed this for their children. So we are continuing to build our faith step so we can put it up. Please bring the prayers first. We pray for them and then we put them at the altar. Bring them first. Bring the sticky notes. You can put this up. Melchizedek, please come. And if his parent is here, I'll ask that the parent come so that you pray with us. Come. Please bring all your prayer requests. Let's have them here on the Bible so that we can pray over them. Okay, please bring your prayer requests. Thank you, children. We are happy to pray for you this week. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we are going to pray. Melchizedek will start, and then his mom, and then I will close. Dear Father, God, I praise you for the wonderful gift of prayer. Thank you, God, that I can talk to you whenever I want to. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we come to you this afternoon with thanksgiving, Lord, in our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for many things that you have done in our lives. As young children, we come to you, Lord. We pray that, Lord, may you forgive us our sins, forgive us our trespasses, dear Lord, and remember us into your kingdom as young children. It's our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray for the prayer requests that have been brought to the altar today by the little children in their little handwritings and on these beautiful stick, sticky notes. Dear God, they are simple, they are heartfelt, and they are sincere. And our prayer, Lord, is that you answer them. 
you know the needs of every child who has brought in a request, even the parents who have brought in their request for their children. Hear our prayers, Lord. We believe you. And yesterday we learned that when we pray, we must always believe that you hear and answer prayer. And so we ask you, Lord, that you will answer these prayers. And I pray for all the children who are standing here at the altar, that, dear God, you will meet them at their points of need. Remember them. You know them. You know the families that they represent. You know where they are seeking your face. And I pray, dear God, that you will show up for them. May they have so many answered prayers that they will learn to trust you more. And dear God, even as we conclude this prayer, Lord, we want to pray for all the people who are struggling with prayer. Sometimes it's not easy when we are discouraged. Sometimes it's not easy when we are feeling as if you're not listening. But dear God, we thank you because we know that you're always listening. You're always ready to answer the prayers, especially the prayers of little children. And so, dear God, we are committing ourselves to you plus our prayers. And we ask you, Lord, that you may hear them. May your will be done in our lives and teach us to pray as Jesus prayed in a simple way while also we are making good choices in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.